आप सुन रहे हैं समाचार एजेंसी ऑफ इंडिया की साई न्यूज में ऑडियो बुलेटिन दिस इज दर एजेंसी ऑफ इंडिया नाउ लिसन टू द नेशनल ऑडियो बुलेटिन ऑफ फ्राइडे जनवरी फिफ्थ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर इन द न्यूज सीरीज ऑफ साई न्यूज Government has decided to implement the overarching scheme Prithvi Vijayan Prithvi at a cost of 4,797 crore rupees. A decision in this regard was taken by the Union Cabinet today. The scheme encompasses five ongoing sub-schemes, namely Atmosphere and Climate Research Modeling, Observing Systems and Services, Ocean Services Modeling Application, Resources and Technology, Polar Science and Cryosphere Research, Seismology and Geosciences and Research, Education, Training and Outreach. The Prithvi scheme is aimed at the augmentation and sustenance of long-term observations of the atmosphere, ocean, geosphere, cryosphere and solid earth to record the vital signs of the earth system and change. The Union Cabinet has approved the proposal to declare Ayodhya Airport as an international airport and naming it as Maharishi Valmiki International Airport, Ayodhya Dam. Elevating Ayodhya Airport to international status is paramount for realizing Ayodhya's economic potential and its significance as a global pilgrimage site, opening doors to foreign pilgrims and tourists. The airport's name, Maharishi Valmiki International Airport, Ayodhya Dam, pays homage to Maharishi Valmiki, the sage attributed to composing the epic Ramayana, adding a cultural touch to the airport's identity. A 3-day All India Conference of Directors General and Inspectors General of Police 2023 begin today at the Rajasthan International Center in Jaipur. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will attend the conference tomorrow and on Sunday. A wide range of policing and internal security issues including cybercrime, counterterrorism challenges, left-wing extremism and prison reforms will be discussed during the event. Another key agenda of the conference is to deliberate on the road map for implementation of the new criminal laws. Discussion will also be held on futuristic themes in policing and security like the challenges posed by new technologies such as artificial intelligence, deep fake and ways to deal with them. The conference will be attended by Union Home Minister Amit Shah, National Security Adviser and senior officials. This is the Samakar Agency of India. You are listening to the National Audio Bulletin of Friday, January 5th, 2024 in the news series of Sai News. The government has informed that 91 mines have been successfully auctioned so far. According to the coal ministry, six commercial mines have already started coal production and another three are likely to start production in the coming months. The ministry has successfully completed seven rounds of auction with the help of a transparent online auction system launched by Prime Minister Narendra Modi in the year 2020. Coal mining from the auction mines is estimated to attract annual revenue of over 33,000 crore rupees with the production of over 220 million tons per annum. Vice President Jagdeep Dankar has said that NCC cadets embody the youth's dynamism and reflect the organization's instilled discipline. Inaugurating NCC Republic Day Camp 2024 at Delhi Camp today, he said, they all are leaders of tomorrow and are the most vital stakeholders in the growth and rise of Bharat which is home to one-sixth of humanity. Mr Danker said that NCC instills punctuality, resilience, loyalty and hard work that shape the cadets into active, productive citizens and the most valuable human resource of this great country. External Affairs Minister Drive S Jayshankar today said that India will extend a financial package of 75 million dollars for the reconstruction of infrastructure in the district of Nepal affected by last year's earthquake. Dr Jayshankar was speaking after jointly inaugurating with his Nepalese counterpart NP Saad the Tribhuvan University Central Library and other reconstruction projects undertaken in Kathmandu after the 2015 earthquake in Nepal. The external affairs minister said India was saddened to learn of the casualties and devastation caused by the earthquake that struck the western parts of Nepal in November last year. A 5.7 magnitude earthquake struck Jharkhand district in Nepal on 3rd of November last year, killing over 150 people and injuring nearly 400. The earthquake was the deadliest to strike the country since 2015. Talking about the bilateral ties, the external affairs minister said real transformation has been witnessed in the India-Nepal relationship. The minister said India is committed to continuing to redefine its relationship with partners in its neighborhood, especially with Nepal. The external affairs minister reached the Himalayan nation yesterday on a two-day visit. This is the Samakar Agency of India. You are listening to the National Audio Bulletin of Friday, January 5th, 2024 in the news series of Sai News. All India Institute of Medical Science (AIMS) New Delhi has started country's first smart lab in its OPD block to provide test facilities under one roof. 
This facility is seamlessly integrated, offering a wide range of laboratory testing services including hematology, biochemistry, coagulation, serology, endocrinology, and various immunoassays. Additional Professor of Laboratory Medicine AIMS Delhi, Dr. Sudeep Kumar Dutta said the smart lab of AIMS gets the report of 90% on the same day the sample is received. One Enforcement Directorate ED, team which went to Sundesh Kali area of North 24 Parganas District of West Bengal to raid the house of Sheikh Shah Jahan, was attacked by locals today. Sheikh Shah Jahan is the president of Trinamool Congress Sandesh Kali Block. He also holds the post of Karmat Hayekshia of Zila Parishad. Though central paramilitary forces were with the team, but they were overpowered by some 200 local villagers. Enforcement Directorate had gone to raid the house of Sheikh Shah Jahan in connection with the PDS scam. Two ED personnel and three media personnel were injured in today's attack. BJP State President Dr. Sakanto Majumdar said that the attackers in today's incident are Rohingya who are given protection by the state government. Indian Navy's mission-deployed platforms responded swiftly to a maritime incident in the Arabian Sea involving a hijacking attempt on board Liberia-flagged bulk carrier. According to the Indian Navy, the vessel had sent a message yesterday to the United Kingdom Maritime Trade Operations portal indicating boarding by approximately five to six unknown armed personnel. The Indian Navy said the overall situation is being closely monitored, in coordination with other agencies. This is the Samakar Agency of India. You are listening to the National Audio Bulletin of Friday, January 5, 2024 in the news series of Sci News. North Korea fired more than 200 artillery shells near two South Korean islands today, prompting evacuation orders for their residents. A South Korean defense ministry official said, the North Korean military conducted over 200 rounds of firing in the areas of Jangsengat in the northern part of Bengmyang Island and the northern areas of Yonpyong Island. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today shared a budget of Lord Sri Ram on his social media. The budget was sung by noted singer Jubin Nadiol. India moved to the top of World Test Championship 2023 to 25 standings after their epic win over South Africa yesterday. It was India's second win in the ongoing World Test Championship cycle. Defeating South Africa by seven wickets in Cape Town helped India to earn 12 crucial points, which allowed the team to move up the table. In women's cricket, the first T20 of the three-match series between India and Australia will be played today at Dr. D. Y. Patil Sports Academy, Navi Mumbai. The match will start at 7 p.m. IST. The second and the third matches will be played on 7th and 9th of this month respectively. You are listening to the news series of Sci News of the Samakar Agency of India in the National Audio Bulletin of Friday, January 5, 2024. On Saturday, January 6, 2024, we will once again appear with an audio bulletin. Also, do not forget to watch Limti Ko Lantern on burning topics in Sci News at 7 a.m. daily. If you like these audio bulletins, then you must like, share and subscribe to them. Now we take your permission, Jai Hind.